Hey guys, <coughs> hey guys, welcome back. So today we got a 2022 Genesis GV70. So customer complaint is it lacks power, right? Um, so he noticed right away that his car has something going on because when he got the loaner, a GV, uh, no, the G80 2.5, um, he told us that it's totally different from his car right now. So what I found on this vehicle is we got a leaking um, radiator for a water cooled intercooler, right? So um, let's go under the hood and I'll explain to you further. So during my visual inspection um, yesterday, um, I found that this reservoir was empty. So I filled it up and let it sit for a while and I noticed that it's leaking right away on the radiator so I guess you can see that the bottom part that's the second radiator that we have the front one is the condenser the middle one is the water cooled radiator and the back one is the regular radiator for our cooling system so you can see there there's pink lines there or pink marks so we're gonna be replacing this radiator radiator for the um, intercooler so I was thinking it was leaking starting from here but question is where's the damage I can see here that there's some scrape mark there that could be it but We'll never know, but I saw it's dripping from there. And this is the only um, component that's part of the reservoir of the intercooler, water cooled intercooler. So I'm just gonna put our new intercooler in here, and we're gonna go for fill up the coolant, and then. Let's see if there's an option to run that water pump there, the electric water pump. If not, I guess I'll just have to do the 
um, what do you call that? Normal bleeding and drive it. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill up with coolant right now. And then I'm gonna check the option in the scan tool if there's an option for the electric water pump for the intercooler. Because I think last time when I was, I did an intercooler for a GV80, um, I can't find that option. So we'll see. And then. If, if I find anything that no leak and then we're gonna go for a drag and it should be fixed right now okay so we're underneath the vehicle um, I don't see any leak I'm um, dripping so which is good that's a good sign but of course I'm gonna double check this one and test drive it and recheck again after the test drive so um, I'm just gonna put the under the cover here and then fill up our refrigerant and then we're gonna go for a test drive. Hi right, guys, um, so I'm on the road right now test driving this vehicle. So, so far, um, oh I forgot to mention. Um, so on this GV70 2.5, there was an option to actuate the electric water pump for the intercooler. So. You have to do that especially when you replace the coolant for that water cooled um, intercooler or replace the pump or the radiator for that so um, so far when I did the actuation test for the water pump I didn't see any leaks which is good um, so now oh man I hope it's not traffic You know what um, maybe if I'm going back southbound because I'm going northbound right now in the highway um, maybe you can do some acceleration test and make sure our boost pressure sensor is reading that boost pressure right so I'm just graphing that um, with the intake manifold pressure and the boost pressure in our, um, near our intercooler right so yeah um i'll get back again once i get the clear clear road to do some acceleration okay, I, think I have some clear view right now i'm just gonna put you here in the camera on the scan tool and when i accelerate that this guy here was should go up so 
I don't know if that picks up. Yeah, you see that spike on up. So that's our pressure on our um, intercooler side that it reads that um, more air, right? So I'm happy with the result. So I'm gonna just test drive it more just to double check everything. But at least now we have power, unlike before, due to that leaking radiator for the intercooler. I guess it's not cooling that, you know, air, right? So, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video and don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Thank you for watching.